of some of the details about what apparently happened when 11-year-old Gannon Stauk was murdered. We want to warn you, these details are difficult to hear. They were first reported today by a newspaper overseas. This evening, a source confirmed to 11 News that his body was found by construction workers in a suitcase in Pace, Florida. It's in the Florida Panhandle. 11 News reporter Catherine Silver is live for us now at the El Paso County Jail, where Gannon's stepmother is being held. Catherine, tell us what you're learning. Don, the source confirms that he was shot and stabbed before his body was thrown under a bridge in Florida. We first told you last week that a group of construction workers had discovered his remains. Investigators have not told us how he ended up there. They believe the 11 year old was killed in Colorado. His stepmother, Letitia Stauk, is accused of murdering him. She is facing eight new counts now that there's been this bombshell development in the case. The charges speak for themselves. They include some sort of blunt object, a knife and a gun. Letitia Stauk did her only on camera interview with 11 News reporter Spencer Wilson. Here's what she told us after Gannon went missing in late January. I would never, never, ever hurt this child. The community needs to have faith and continue to work together and not make these false accusations like the things that have been said that I've disappeared from the community. I haven't been there to help, but there's lots of reasons behind that. Gannon's father posted a statement online this weekend describing this very difficult time for his family. He says the devastation is continually evolving. And Don, we are still waiting for an autopsy report. In the meantime, we know Letitia Stauk should be back in court next month.